where this is going to make power at. I would assume this is going to make power probably to something like 9 to 9,500. We're going to be anticipating that. So we'll just get it out of the way right now. And then we can bring the rev limiter down uh, when we're done with the tuning session. We figure out where the peak power is at. I normally set my rev limiter about four to 500 RPMs higher than wherever the peak power is on the dyno to give me time to shift above that peak power and come back into the power band. So I'm not going to be losing any acceleration, but we'll see how that's going to go on this particular car. So the soft rev limiter, I'm going to go move this down to late and the power reduction here, I'll go move it down here to almost none. This is what I generally find to work pretty well. And we can see we have fuel and ignition, uh, fuel and fuel plus ignition as a rev limit type. Because this is a drag car, I'll go use fuel and ignition together. It's a little bit more aggressive. It sounds a little bit better here, so I'll select that. Secondary tables we're not using, so we can skip. Security feature we're not using. Shift light here, we can put a shift light on this because it is a drag car. We'll use our check engine light to flash at us. I'll go set this right now at something like 9,000. I anticipate this making power to 9,000 or higher. So we'll just put it there for the, for the time being. We can always adjust this later. Now we're not using the traction control, so we can skip this. The TPS, we're definitely going to want to come in here and calibrate this. Once we've uploaded the file and uh, we're ready to go and uh, we've, we're ready to uh, go through that process. But right now we'll skip. We can see uh, the read buttons here to do the calibration process are grayed out because I don't have my key on. The S300 isn't powered up. So we're in the offline mode creating this file. Now we all, we all can see the overrun fuel cut. And this is something that we need to be mindful of on this kind of car, a drag car, uh, because it has a really light flywheel and uh, it's going to have a tendency to try to go and potentially stall. We want, we are not concerned about the injector shutting off when we lift throttle. We want to keep the fuel in there so the fuel the coming down into idle is going to be as stable as possible. I'm going to go here to the overrun fuel cutoff TPS, go to the delay. I'm going to go and bump the delay up to a thousand milliseconds. Now the overrun fuel cut map, this is going to be the load pressure where it could potentially go into deceleration cut where it shuts the injectors off. I'm going to be lowering this way down.